My name is Adam Novak, and now we'll be talking about strings in Python. Strings in Python are any characters found on the keyboard, most often words. They are signified at the start and end of words using single or double quotes, though I do like to use single quote for single characters and double quotes for whole words. We can also change numbers or variables into strings simply by putting them inside the string operator, inside the braces here. If you are going to be spending time in Python, it is very important to become very familiar with string manipulation. In this first example at the top, we have string concatenation. We are simply adding two strings together, such that we have Bruce equal to the first variable first name, and Wayne equal to the second variable second name. We can add the two variables together, such that we get Bruce Wayne. We can also repeat outputs, such that we can multiply the string by a number such that we got first name times three, we'll get Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. Strings cannot do other arithmetic functions. As we said, Python is strongly typed, so we cannot have a string plus a number without explicitly changing it to a string first. We also cannot take a string away from a string. Python will not know what to do in this circumstance, nor can we do a string divided by two. You can access individual characters in a string via an index. This is a number inside the braces. So if we use a variable name, then a number, we can get the individual characters from the string. The first character is represented by zero, the second by one, third by two, and so on. So if we get the third member from female, we'd have to put the number two inside the braces, not the number three, getting the character M. On the right here, we're getting the sixth member from Python programmer being n. There's also a start stop method such that we can tell it where to start accessing the characters from the string and where to stop. In this first example, there is no stop, so we're getting the rest of the whole word being male. And on the right here, we're getting Graham, the 11th to 15th member of Python programmer. At the bottom here, there's a start stop method. In this way, we can tell it where to start, <coughs> where to stop, and how to access it. In this first example here, we are accessing it backwards using a reverse step. So we get Elan from male. And on the right here, we get my crude attempt of gamer from programmer, being G-A-M-R, using steps of two, being G, A, M, and R. So if we have a look at the string Adam Novak assigned to the variable we have called name, we can access individual characters from it using the index values shown here. As we can see, the space in Adam Novak has an index value associated with it. So if we're going to access individual characters from the string, if we put zero inside the braces, we'd first get the character A, then putting one inside the braces, we get D, then A, then M, then we get the space. If we do want to get the first word, however, from the string Adam Novak, we can put 0 to 4 inside the braces. Remembering in this circumstance, we exclude the value 4. We can also increment through a string in a step of 2. So in this example, we start off with A. Incrementing in 2 will give us A again. Then incrementing 2 will give us the space. Then O, then A. We can also go backwards, incrementing in a reverse step, starting with K. A W O N M A D A. Because strings are mutable, we cannot assign new characters inside of the string, such that if we try to change a character associated with an index, we'll produce an error. Now, if we look at an example, we can make word equal to theater. We can access the first value such as word and inside the braces we can put zero being the first value getting t inside the braces we can put the second value being one getting h inside the braces we can put the third value being two getting e so we want to get the word the from theater we go word from zero to three because it does not include the top value of the range and then we get the to get the word eat we'd have to go from word 2 to 5 and that will get us eat. To get at we'd go from word 3 to 5 giving us at.
We can also try to print it in reverse, such that we get word from start to end in a minor step. We can also try to print off every second character, such that we get word from start to end in a step of two.